In this scenario, I have a list of customer numbers for customers that are inactive. I'm going to click on this process runner Excel add-in tab here. And now the menu options become available to me. Here I have this BAPI customer get detail to. This will get me the customer's name as well as the search field. And then I want to run the transaction code XD02 and append ZZ to the name as well as to the search field. This will allow me easily to look up these customers later on and flag them for deletion. So I'm going to go ahead now and press the run button here. This is going to then run that BAPI as well as XD02 in conjunction with each other. First, the BAPI will download the customer's name, and I just need to log in here. You'll notice here that I can actually sign into any SAP system in my SAP landscape. So I'm just going to put in a username and password here. And so now the BAPI get customer detail is now running. And so once the name as well as the search field has been downloaded to this Excel spreadsheet, the XD02 transaction will then kick in and it's going to then append ZZ to the customer name as well as to the sort field or search field here. So there we can see the BAPI has, is just about to finish up here. And so now we have the XD02 transaction running. Again, this is just going to append ZZ to the name as well as to the sort field. And I'm just doing this to make it easier to look up these customers later uh, when I want to flag them for deletion. Right now, they're, they're inactive customers. And once this finishes out, I'm going to show you an additional feature that I've added to this workbook that's going to actually allow me to run XD06 as well, too. So here we, uh, you can see that my SAP messaging is getting written directly to this Excel spreadsheet showing me that the changes have been made. I'm just going to let this completely finish out here. And now I'm actually going to look this up in SAP. I place my cursor here and I click on this show in SAP GUI. It's going to take me right into SAP. There I have my customer too. You can see that ZZ has been appended to the name as well as to the search term. If I go to this uh, environment here, field changes, you can actually see uh, the new value and compare it to the old value. So even though I ran this from Excel, it is recorded in SAP as if, if, as if a manual transaction was done. Now what I'm going to do now is go to this third tab here, this append and the flag, and here I actually have a, a couple customers here that I already know that I want to flag them for deletion and for the sake of the consistency in my data, I'm going to go ahead and append ZZ to their name as well as to their search field and then immediately flag them for deletion. So what this is going to do is now actually run three process files, the first one being the BAPI, the second one being XD02, and then the third one will be XD06. This is a very powerful feature of Process Runner as you can link any of the technologies as well as many process files as you want together. So I could do a data extraction, link that with a transaction file. I could also link multiple data extraction files together and then finally link that with the transaction file. Or also I could utilize the GUI scripting and as you've seen here, the BAPI technologies as well. Again, it's possible to link as many technologies as you want together and as many process files as you want together. Very powerful feature here. Now this is from an end user's perspective. Every, everything is being done through uh, Excel. So Excel is my interface to SAP. A designer or super user as we call them basically has created these scripts, created these process files, embedded them in this Excel workbook and now me as an end user, all I simply need to do, again, as you saw, was press that run button. So now we have the XD06, the flag for deletion transaction file is now running. And that SAP messaging is again is getting written right to the Excel spreadsheet. So once this finishes out, we'll just take a look at this first uh, customer, just verify everything has been done on it. All right, so let's now take a look at this 
customer 1175 here. Again, I'll click on this show in SAP GUI. There you can see that the customer 1175 is marked for deletion. And so let's go in now and take a look at that and just verify here that that append was done. And there you can see I've got the old original name and that the ZZ was appended to it and it has been flagged for deletion. So this has been an example of how Process Runner can be utilized to link multiple technologies as well as embed multiple process files in an Excel workbook and allow an end user to download and upload data from an Excel spreadsheet using Excel as an interface to SAP. Thank you for watching.